everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over progenitor cells. Okay, so in the last video, we covered um, neural formation and induction. Formation is the creation of neurons, and induction is the specialization for getting assigned tasks, right? So I like to think of induction as like you're getting inducted into a position. Like, oh, I got inducted into being the secretary of this organization. My induction to my movie was yesterday. And I was inducted into the NHS, right? So I'll stop rambling now. Um, basically, all neural cells. So the next step is proliferation, which means the division of cells to create more cells, right? So all neural cells arise from a common pool of cells called progenitor cells, right? So progenitor cells are basically almost like stem cells, right? They are stem cells, in fact. And I'm sure you've heard of IPS stem cells. Um, these are a type of IPS, but basically these are infant, like they do not have a, a function determined yet, right? So once you get the stem cells, their function is determined, these cells will start to divide super duper rapidly, right? And the way they achieve this is through symmetric division. So basically, you take one cell will divide into two daughter cells. These two daughter cells will divide right into two daughter cells. And these will divide into two daughter cells, and this one will divide into two daughter cells, and this one will divide into two daughter cells. So this process is what's known as symmetry division. Symmetric division is really important because it allows for rapid proliferation. It means that which means it allows for fast increase of the number of cells, right? So fast increases are really important because in the first few weeks, you want to have billions of cells, millions of cells, you, because you want to form connections as fast as possible, right? So you need to have enough ground material for that. But on the same hand, on this other hand, if you have too much, too much proliferation, I'm sure that's much similar to some a condition that we've all heard about with cancer. That's not good either. So once there's been enough cells, the divisions become asymmetric. So what does asymmetry mean? Basically, um, the cells will become two daughter cells, this one become younger cells, but slowly what will happen is it'll start only producing one daughter cell. One daughter cell. Right? So this is asymmetric. This is important because it slows down the growth. So asymmetric division doesn't really take place until later stages of development because you don't, once you have enough neurons, you want to stop at one point, right? That's when asymmetric division takes place. Um, so basically, that's where progenitor cells happen, right? And Actually, progenitor cells are not specific to just embryonic development, right? Um, so basically, progenitor cells, a small portion of them remain in your memory regions because you create memories on a daily basis. You need new neurons forming, you need new cells forming, right? So these remain mostly in memory. A common example of this is something called your dentate virus, right? Dentate virus. There's a lot of cells here, which can fill up in your Okay, so what happens if cell division goes wrong? So if cell division, so first let's break down these two conditions, right? First is something called microencephaly. So micro means small and encephaly and set actually means head. Right? So basically the word is the word literally translates to small. So why do you guys think this might happen? 
Remember, all symmetric divisions eventually switches over to asymmetric division, right? So can you guys think of guess as to why my code's not doing right now? So first, actually before I make a prediction, I just wanted to let you know that my print simply means an abnormally small size to have So this actually happens because symmetric division switches too fast to asymmetric division, which means the rapid number of neurons that the vast billions won't be enough. So it's too small, right? Um, the opposite of that, however, is something called an example. An example. So an example. Obviously, it's definitely in the tag. And basically, what this translates to is the end. I guess the term that you can add to it is the end. So, basically, it's an abnormally large handful. People who have this condition who have an example, somewhere it's this human business. Whereas people who have microencephaly, they have a very small head. And basically, it's like too small. Whereas the normal person would have a head shape like this, right? So here you can see it's too big, you can see it's too small, and here you can see it's just right. So anencephaly happens because the switch between symmetric and asymmetric doesn't happen or happens too late. What that means is that you have too many cells, it's too much, so the brain gets too big. And so these conditions are very fatal. There's a very small survival chance for these. Actually, a quick fun fact about this is I'm pretty sure there's a documentary on this child who had this really large head. It's a really interesting documentary. I recommend you to watch it. Um, and there were survival cases. So these conditions are actually really fatal because having a too big of a brain puts a lot of pressure on your skull and your spinal cord. You have a high risk of snapping in your spinal cord because of the excess weight. So you need to be very careful when you move around. Whereas microencephaly, your brain doesn't develop properly in the first place because you don't have enough material to make connections. And the fatality rate is really high in these conditions. Um, so far, people think that this has genetic causes. Uh, there might be also some external factors. People have seen associations with alcohol addiction, drug addiction, on the amount of microencephaly and the I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you have any questions or specific things that you want to know about this video, it's definitely linked to the video. Thank you so much. Bye.